What's poppin' guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Jimmy Miller. If you're new to my channel, this is my dance YouTube channel where I make reaction videos to all the YouTube videos out there. And right now, I'm in a series where I do uh, reaction videos to World of Dance. Um, I'm loving this season so far. It's amazing. But besides that, I'm here with a special guest host today. Well, the one and only media mogul radio host, Nilly Time, right here. <laughs> so with that being said, Neil. Would you tell them a little bit about yourself, man? Yo, what's poppin'? My name is Neil Hobson. Neil Town! <laughs> and uh, I am a dance choreographer. Um, I'm a radio DJ. I'm a, a live DJ, a speaker, host. I do a little bit of everything. I dibble and dabble, but <laughs> and I love dance. Passionate about it. Um, you know, um, I, I love all types of dance, but my main thing is hip hop. But, uh, you know, I love World of Dance as well. I've yeah. been following since the first season, right? Right, and I was yeah. a little disappointed with the first season. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, we lie to you. Okay? We, we could talk about that. We dance fam. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about season one. Y'all oh, already know. Man, I was telling somebody about the other day. I'm like, yo, the way I ain't trying to call nobody out, but the way <laughs> J Lo influenced she the who won. Did. You know, and the last one was a super fire, super dope. No question about that. But against Keone and Mari. Head to Bruh, head, like Keone Mari, they they killed that much. But I even felt like against Eva Igo, like I felt like her her performance was even stronger than powerful. Me. And I feel like they also played up that whole like broken ankle thing. Bruh. But then that same night, and it was supposed to be a late, live show, uh -huh. they was break dancing on Instagram. <laughs> like bro, it was like your leg is supposed to be broke right now. Yeah. Like <laughs> it was one of the things. And the thing is, it got me was that uh, Neo, he gave the first one hundred. Score yeah. before J Lo did it. You know J Lo was her show for real. You know, and he gave the first 100, and you could see in J Lo's face that she really wanted to. She, she, she was like, "Bruh, like, like what? How you going uh, uh, outshine me?" <laughs> so then he backed down, and then it, it, was, it was a whole situation. And people's in the comments is lighting it up. I yeah, mean, yeah. so. You know, I, otherwise, I'm glad it's a great platform for dancers. I'm yeah, glad that they get the exposure, nice. and I love the idea of the show, but I was just like, mm. Yeah, yeah. You there's know. there's certain elements of the show where I, where, that I don't like, because I, I still feel like it's, like, impossible to win the show as a solo act. Like, it's tough. Very like, tough. Like, I, because there's so many more pictures you can create as a group right. than what you can do as a solo act. Yeah. Like, as a solo act, you're going to get tired. Yeah. You're only going to be able to create, like, 15 pictures, you know, versus... There's only so much. Exactly. And when you're with a group, you can hide when you're tired. You can rely on your teammates. Right. You can create endless amounts of pictures. Yeah. Like, it's to me, it's almost like they need to, they have to have a solo division winner, like, you know. Yeah. Because Eva Igo, she was I mean, she was like killer. Her energy, yeah. her presence, and the set that they built around her, excuse me, they were what was really impressive as well. Yeah. Here's the thing though, it's like what you don't want dance to become in general, okay? I ain't trying to school you on a on the, on No, school them. That's what they, they, that's what we all about here. We, but, we school you. Yo, <laughs> like you don't want the show and you don't want dance to become about tricks. Yeah. Because what happens is is when you involve dollars and entertainment and sponsors like they want the wow and we all want but but some of us have been dancing for a long time the love of it we like the technique we like the meaning the music so on and so forth but when it becomes about like who can throw you the highest yeah. like you know with what was the, was it the kings yeah the they, kings are sick they were sick they, i love crazy the kings. Like, crazy good hey shout out to all my dance fam in india yeah. too like yeah. you guys I, I love you guys so much yeah <laughs> i mean incredible things that they were doing but when it becomes about uh, about that, when you go to season three, four, five, it's tough to outdo just physically because you've seen it all. Yes, you you yes. run through the whole gamut of dancers that are out there in the, in the area. It's kind of like now I got I got to put you on Be Unbeatable, bro. Like, have you seen Be Unbeatable? I'm not, bro. Like, is I'm, I'm a crazy my, dude. You thought the Kings was sick? Ooh. Be Unbeatable. <laughs> Is like next level. Where are they from? Kids. They're from India too. Wow. Like I don't know what y'all doing in, in India. Like no. it's sick. It's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like they're literally risking their, their lives. Really? Like, it's it's insane. Man, like it's good for TV though. It's very good for TV. <laughs> It makes America just look like we just like wah, wah. Right, exactly. <laughs> and a one but, and two. Uh, right, right. <laughs> but anyway, I guess with that being said, man, let's let's jump into our first reaction video. Yeah. Shh. Mm. 
okay? You know you didn't come in great shape. <laughs> Oh. Look at the formation, bro. No. Hey. Clean. Oh, we need to do that. It's nasty. Is that clean, man? How? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about <laughs> grooving, bro. <laughs> Yo. I'm like, my heart is pounding so fast right now. What like, happened? Dude, there's like so much that just... I, they were hitting every word, like, yo. That's gotta, gotta be like the most movements ever in one piece of day. Yeah. <laughs> dude, like, and they, they were so cool, and like, everybody was on beat. Like, bro. in sync. Bruh, and you know, just talk ah. about how tough that is to do, like, as a group. Oh it's like 15 of them. Like, That's it's hard to do that with, with three dancers, let alone do that with, with a group of Maybe dancers. Hours like, and hours of rehearsal to make sure everybody is on and hears the same sounds. And, like, I mean, that's just, like, th th that takes experience dancing together in time. It do, yes. And knowing who's gonna hit what at what time, bruh, that's crazy. Cause they even said it's crazy episodes about. like, you can see who's been dancing together for a while and who's like yeah. just, who are good dancers and coming together. Yeah. They haven't yeah, been dancing for a while, yeah. yeah. Keita and Yeah, you could definitely tell. So, all right, let's Yo. let's get into it. Let's let's break it down. I'm just gonna highlight, I I'm, I wanna highlight this one moment. The mm -hmm. one section is the, the ending where the music cuts and they're yeah. still just in sync, killing it. Just <laughs> wah, 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 like, dude. And then it's so hard to dance, hey, dance that fast and not just look like your arms are just flopping everywhere. Right, right. You know, like to actually look like it's clean movements, like the stacking, um, all of that was amazing. So like hats off the groovement. Yeah, I killed that performance. Yo. So is any moments that you, that stood out for you in that dance? I mean, like, I think, you know, the, the, the beginning, just seeing the facials, cause sometimes people, dancers forget the facials. Yeah. They was just like strong from they the top. The hair look, the hair is moving. <laughs> when her be moving, that's when you know you're hitting every move. And then really the transitions. Like to be able to dance, yeah. stay on, clean, and transition without the audience really even knowing that they're transitioning. Facts. And then all of a sudden they're in this different formations, like, yo. Facts. And then I love that they gave us time to breathe for a split second right. with the like, right. what do you right. call it? Like the J-Y, what you, was it? You need that groove. It's yeah. just like kind of like a nice little, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like you need that moment to breathe a little bit and then to get back into it because you yeah. appreciate it more. Yes, yes. So so overall, um, topping this off, man. So choreography, come on. Like, can, can I not give this a 10? Like, this, <laughs> I can't not give that choreography a 10. That would be dumb. Choreography a 10. Execution is a 10. Um, what else? Uh, creativity. Okay, so creativity, I'm wrestling with. Uh, here's why I'm wrestling mm. with creativity because it was just there was so much to it mm. I felt like there was just I, So first of all, I give creativity an 8. Here's why I give it an 8 because it just felt like a bunch of moves Thrown together and they didn't actually tell a story. It was just like it was just like look at how fire we are as dancers Which is like it's, it's pretty dope But also that that story element was missing for me and it just felt like like a lot of hands flying but it was like clean at the same time but overall i give this performance on a scale of one to ten i give it a nine that's that's me it's good. like so it's it's, good. it's fire but it's good yeah. it, you know i would say your track your dance track makes or breaks your dance facts okay so much dude for real there are some great dancers that pick whack music yes that it lets them down some, some okay dancers pick a hype dope song it yep. takes their stuff to another level because people like it and relate to it. I think, you know, what was the first one? The choreography? Choreography, yep. Choreography, I would probably give, bruh. I would probably give 
a, I want to say an eight, but I'm gonna say a nine. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna say eight. No, I'm so an eight. Say eight. <laughs> eight because they, it was a lot of great moves. Mm -hmm. But one thing you do notice amongst, um, how do I say this? Certain cultures of dance. It's like a lot of it's the same move repeated, mm. but just in maybe in a, in a hair of a different way. Yeah. So it's the same. Ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, yeah. Ta -ta, ta -ta. Stacking. You know, it's, it's so th those are cool moves, great, but sometimes you get into the, the movement and the mode of doing the same thing over and over again. Regardless, it was cold, right? Yeah. What was the, what was the other one? The um, execution. Execution, definitely give it a nine. Probably just give it a ten, uh, just because. Let me <laughs> give it a ten. So let me give it a ten because they executed it clean. They, they, there's what they had, they executed perfectly. Um, and then the uh, what was the other one? Uh, the uh, uh, Lord, Lord, uh, help me. Creativity. Uh, creativity. Yeah. Creativity. I would probably give it an eight. They had a moment where this might did a backflip, which is great. It's not all about the tricks, but yeah. at the same time, I also it, felt like he didn't stick the backflip because I saw him like. He, land right. he landed on time, but he didn't necessarily stick it. Mm -hmm. But they were all on time. I think the thing is that uh, creativity-wise, you do want to see different pictures. It is one dance. They came with intensity, but you maybe you uh, maybe I wanted to see them kind of swag that out just a little bit more, yeah. and then get back into it because it would help, you know, yeah. really emphasize other moves better. But overall, I'll probably give it a nine. Yeah, and then, and then for me, like when it when it comes to storytelling, like the story that you peeps saw, uh, told, did you see that? No. So you peeps came as like hotel attendants, like, mm. and they came with a bag. It's always a win. And they were like, like it was dope because they they told a story like, okay, we're sending you packing, and they danced with this bag the whole time. And they were doing like tricks and freezing with it and all this stuff. And then at the end of it, they threw the bag at them and gave them a, a flight ticket. And wow. I was like, no. like it was that, that was like a sick story. And it was clear as day, easy Crazy. to understand. Like, and, and dancing with props is tough in general too. Dude, so. Yes, and they pulled it off effortlessly. They Man. did have, and I'm going, I'm backtracking. Y'all saw the video <laughs> of what I did, but um, there was that one instance where they had the they had the the baggage claim thing or whatever, mm -hmm. and the dude did a little roll back off of it, and it was, he looked like he was struggling, like, he was like, trying to trying to roll off that thing. <laughs> check, check, please, <laughs> check. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, that was. But I love that story so much. Man. It was it was clear as day. Like you knew yeah. the message they were sending. Yeah, um, yeah. Clean. Uh, also, M uh, MBC Three, which is a contemporary group, where the three, the two girls and the one guy, they told a beautiful story of like a love triangle kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like I loved, I'm a, I'm a sucker for storytelling, man. Like when they tell a story, that's, that's, like, that's what it is, man. Bruh, you gotta touch the heart. You gotta pull the heart <laughs> strings a little bit. You gotta get hype or pull the heart strings, and you generally need a little bit of both to win. Yeah, yeah. So let's move into the next one. Let's see let's the response. What Young Cast did. Let's, let's go. go. We got ninjas, karate. So no, okay. Sheesh. Ooh, nice little waterfall. Okay, that's what the flip is supposed to look like. Mm, that was nice. I like that. The flip pass. See? Outfits make a difference too. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Wow. Wow. Let's yeah. talk about it. Dance fam. <laughs> Bro, there's so much to unpack in that routine. Oh. I saw so much in there. I love they threw crumping in there. They threw whacking in there. They had like normal hip hop in there. Like, dude, it was sick. Like the the whoop, whoop, knee drop. Like I saw that. And then they had the uh the flip pass yeah. down the middle yeah. while they were crumping. Like, dude, like oh wow. Yeah. Um, choreography definitely is like for me, it's a ten because technically, there was <laughs> there was just so much there for me, uh, choreography wise. Um, 
I, mean, I will will point out one thing about the oh let's talk about the story they told to me the, the story that they told but they were like you know karate at, like in a dojo or something like that and training to go up against our opponents at least in my mind that's what it was right. maybe it was just like they were just straightforward like they just needed something and <laughs> it was like let's throw these karate out right. so like I don't so, know you know <laughs> right something but yeah what what are your thoughts on on that first of all they came out strong Very okay. Strong. Because really how you start is a good indication of how you're going to actually uh, finish this mug. So they came out strong. Uh, it felt like as a core, that all their dancers were on that same level of intensity. So mm -hmm. and, and you're, I didn't really gravitate to one or the other, other than the other than the uh, the, the dude in the front, like the white dude, because he was taller. Mm -hmm. Other than that, everybody was like a, a unit, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and JLo did say in the previous episode that you, or somebody said that you want your eyes kind of gravitate towards somebody that's a leader. I yeah. get it, like the, mm -hmm. the other group, the dude with the hair. Um, but their moves were phenomenal. Their angles were great too. They used the floor yes. more than anybody that I've seen. Where they not only you know use the floor, they but they the used the angles as well, yeah. and they came. In. I think it was great. I, I think they did a phenomenal job. The ending, like the last move, I would have chose something different that was more yeah. an explosive because everything else was. Other than that, man, I'm telling you, that was it was point, it was poignant. <laughs> Can I just drop that little word there? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So once again, going overall, uh, choreography for men, like I like I said, was a ten. Um, I like that they told a story. Uh, execution, I'm I'm gonna give their execution an eight, only because. Well, I'm, I'm going to give him a little bit higher than that. I'm going to give him a nine on execution. Okay. Uh, no, no. Only, <laughs> only, so I, the reason why I'm giving them a nine on execution is because I did feel like a little bit of a dip in their energy, just a little bit. And then I saw I saw them struggle when they were like holding a girl in the air. Mm. Um, I saw that. Like, mm. yeah, one guy's face was like, mm. like, <laughs> like uh, so sometimes it is tough to cover those things up. Yeah. We've we all been there before. Oh, like, sure. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> listen, you ain't eat, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, you ain't hit the gym that week, like, right. bro, like it's not happening. Like, oh, um, but yeah, and uh, overall, so choreography 10, execution 9, uh, creativity. Creativity for me, uh, this is also something that I'm struggling with. Hmm. Um, once again, I kind of feel like it's in the same boat with Groovement. I guess that's why they're so evenly matched too. Is because uh, uh, in terms of cre creativity, it was kind of head and head, um, because they they kind of told a story, kind of didn't. It was more so just like a lot, a lot of steps and moves too. Sure. Um, so I think for me, I'm gonna give creativity. Mm. I'm gonna go with a nine on creativity as well. Um, so pitting the two routines together, yeah. neck and neck, which one would I go with? Oh man, that's tough. It's very tough. Um, I don't know. But before you do, before okay. you do, go ahead. I'm tell you about the choreo. Choreo, I feel like was what well, yeah, choreo was. I have to give it a nine. I mean, because mm. they were like, they were on it. What, what was the other one? The uh, um, execution. Execution. I'll give it a nine. I like the way that when they had the the girl up, how they transition to get her down they rolled, they her, rolled down. her down yeah that was fly i felt like the i feel, I feel like the execution was good though of what they what they came out to do they executed and did that it mm -hmm. wasn't like they dropped the ball yeah when it comes to uh what was the last one uh, creativity creativity i would probably give it a nine as well um sometimes on those hype dances you don't really get a story mm -hmm. what i felt was they're coming to murder their opponents pretty mm -hmm. much they, yeah. they get all the smoke karate that's chop them chop them murk mm -hmm. that's where they came out and that's i felt like what they did and i felt like you know you can because you can always see in the opponent's faces if they're like feeling good about it or they're like oh snap yeah what we got ourselves into? Yeah, hey, for real. and they was kind of like oh okay <laughs> so, <laughs> like, oh we can breathe yeah. like, <laughs> so i yeah. felt like i would give them a nines all the way around but i felt like that was super strong oh yeah absolutely super strong absolutely man just man the waves about the to, lines the ripples like ugh. and thinking about having to choreograph something like that and then perform it in a week's time like that and, and that's what people don't understand like the turnaround time 
to, to get this and perfect it for show, and not only for like somebody to watch from audience, but for camera. TV. People are breaking it down, like we're breaking it down, like it's gotta be pristine. And you gotta have a couple of other joints in the, in a bag yes. for the next week, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, facts. Crazy. So pitting the two against each other, who's the winner for you? I know, I know. I'm gonna I'm go with, uh, what's the last group name? Groove uh, No, 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 not them. Young Cast. So their groovement. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna and go with Young Cass. Okay, all right. I felt I felt the way I felt afterwards was kind of like they came and brought it to them. I can I feel like they brought brought uh, more technicality to it. Like they brought they brought hip hop hip hop. Yeah, right? for real. Yeah. I'm gonna go with groovement. Ooh. The reason why it's unfair. It's really unfair. Was it? I, because I just like the song better. Like. Oh, <laughs> I see. I see, I see. The song see got me. Too. Like I was I was locked in and like monster that. Oh my goodness! Just the. You need to go buy the album. You you you, you just. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why is because the, to me they were just so evenly matched. Yeah. Like that, that was a very good matchup. Yeah, it wasn't like one was like uh, uh, outdoing the other. It was like oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So for me, song choice was the point five of a point that beat them out. Like okay. that's that's okay. it because the the song drove the energy of that routine. Right and. Um, at the end of Groovement's routine, I felt like my heart was like pounding out of my chest. When they got done, I was like, dang, that was solid. But you know, and, and that was it. But he, but here's the thing, here's the thing though. I respect your opinion, but <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> I'm really happy for you, we're gonna let you finish, but <laughs> here's the thing. Just like with Eminem, they say about Eminem's rapping, he is the GOAT, okay? Number one, no questions asked, okay? However, Sometimes for the common person, it's hard to digest yeah. because there's so much. Yeah. yeah, that's what I felt like I with groovement. Like it was clean, but there was just so much yeah. of it. It was it was hard to breathe. Ooh, and you digest bring up a nice. Ooh, you so know what I'm saying along. So in execution, you're talking about delivery now. Yeah. yeah, you're talking about like, and just like you have delivery with rap, you right. can have delivery with dance, bro. Yeah. That's a whole new category, right? Yeah. Like, dude, because to me, point. when you pit like a J. Cole versus an Eminem, right. and you talk about delivery, exactly. Like, J. Cole is much more palpable uh, right. than an Eminem. Right. Like, J. Cole has punchlines where you can just like, you can that moment, you got it. Right. Eminem, you got to listen to them like five, six five, times. Five, six times, <laughs> and there's so much in there. And you still discovering stuff. Oh my like. gosh. And it, it's crazy. Technically, it's better. Technically. Yeah. However, it's like, do I want to listen to this again? Mmm. You mm. don't, don't want to sit with it, like, you know what I'm saying? So, mm, I don't delivery. Know. I don't know. Dance fam, what y'all think about that as a category? It ain't delivery, it's DiGiorno, my G. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, all right, let's move into the next battle. Let's see what's happening. Let's talk about it, dance fam. Yo, okay, jumping straight into a 305. Um, they came strong with swag. The outfits were like on point. Like, yeah. yo, like I thought that was sick. No, the outfits were fresh. Um, as far as the dance actually goes, it's hard for me to connect with something like this because I'm mm. not a ballroom dancer. Mm. Um, so it's incredibly hard for me to actually judge and be fair on judging. I don't know what I'm looking for. But so, did, you, <laughs> did you feel something though? 
I, did I feel something? No. Um, I'm gonna just be 100% honest. It, it felt, um, it felt like empty movements. Mm. Uh, like they didn't really connect with the song. The song was a very powerful song. Like it was a good song choice. Right. It was, what's wrong with being confident? And I felt like they, they told them to be confident, but I don't feel like they, they actually portrayed Work that well. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was like these are just. It's like when somebody else writes a song for you, mm -hmm. and you just like reading the, right, the right, right. paper. That's, that's what it felt like to me. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I, I think first of all, the outfits were dope. They came out strong. Um, here's the thing. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna move forward. All right. <laughs> uh, the name is 305. You know, Mr. <laughs> Worldwide. I am. Shout out to you. Okay. When you when you're named 305, people already expect you to be on a yeah. whole nother level because you represent the whole you know Air South Michael, South yeah. Florida. Like, what's up? So here's the thing though, the group that was like on like not I was the last no two, like two seasons ago where they were like the very like the, um, the Samba they, crew Samba for me they, they was doing the, the 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 what's the name you know what I'm saying like the the I don't know what the it's called the tricks throwing people up Bro. and they was. They were them was shit. 30 they were 305 Ooh. okay these were more like 304 okay they, they were sick they they performed at the uh, super bowl with jlo too yeah yeah yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That too, that so too. they was on a whole nother level yeah. so when yeah. you see them and then you go to 305 it's kind of like they nah, cool nah. they cute you know yeah. what i'm saying so i think their outfits really helped like the, mm -hmm. the 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 skirt trains and all that but the thing is like it's, it's difficult to dance and something like that to make it move to make sure it doesn't get in your way, make sure you don't. Like, there's a lot of things to go into yeah, it. Yeah. But I didn't even think about the it. The thing is, is that like Train. they were kind of, I don't know. It, it was kind of like, <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the leader of the dance. He's cool. He, he look a little stiff. But I, I felt like they walked a lot th through the transitions as well. Mm, and it was kind of like yeah. they, they they lost some valuable seconds. So overall, it was cool, but it didn't like it didn't blow me away. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get my best um on, on actual points here so uh we're going with choreography choreography i feel like it was lacking actually um I, i'm gonna give choreography a seven mm. like it was still really good but at the same time um it just it just was like moves um mm -hmm. but yeah. i also don't know about that style of dance very much so it could have could have been some things in there that i wasn't catching that i just didn't know about um, but for me, the choreography was a seven. I didn't connect with the piece. Um, and then moving up, moving on, uh, execution. Execution, I'm going to give, oh, man, I'm stuck. I really want to give it like a, a, an eight, but I, I'm gonna go seven and a half mm. only because it just, uh, I don't know, man. I just didn't connect with it. I didn't believe them. That's wow. it. I just didn't That's believe them. the thing. Look, I won't, I won't interrupt you because listen, <laughs> listen. I just didn't believe them. Um, and then overall, uh, creativity. Creativity was. I'm gonna give it a. Um, I was. It was fairly creative, not very creative, but um, that. I, and really, it's an eight because the outfits were so sick. So, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, so for that reason, I, I give you shit. give you a little extra point. <laughs> you know, yeah. But, um, but yeah, I think choreography was a um, a solid seven. I mm. think that. The, I didn't feel anything. Yeah, because it's different. Like you, like even if you don't understand the style of dance, or you never be not as experienced with that, you still know what it's like. I'm feeling when, when something. you're blown away. By oh yeah, you're like, oh, I, I don't know what that is, but I feel it. Right. Right. So choreography was cool. Execution, I felt like it was a good. I feel like execution was a nine for what the choreography was. Mm -hmm. So if the choreography was stronger. Mm -hmm. Mm. Then the whole score would have gone up, but it's like the execution was like, okay, you did what you what you choreographed well, but the execution, um, I don't know, overall, it just could have been stronger. Choreography, execution, and then you have creativity. Creativity, I felt like it was, it was lacking. I'm gonna give it a seven, okay, mm. just because it's, it, we're going through the corona. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but if, we, if it was pre-COVID, listen, you would have got a six. Why but is that? Because <laughs> look, I'm just trying uh -oh. to help the kids out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> listen, they gotta eat these days. But I think a seven on the creativity because it was just like the, the outfits were dope. Yeah. But they didn't have them outfits. Lord help them. 
Hey, I, down, I, kind I kind of feel the same way. I kind of feel the same way. Doing basic ripples and like you waiting for the, like, you gotta wait for the whole ripple to finish. It's like that's valuable time. So yeah, he got I, a point. Overall, it was it was, it was good and, and and God bless America. <laughs> All right, let's get into the next one. Let's see what uh, Little Miss's response is to it. So, mm -hmm. Savannah. Mm. Nice. Mm. Whoa, did you see the floods? Wow. Give me a whole bounce, Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Hey. She could have got twisted and tangled around. She did, yeah, she could have. I love this vibe though. Like, yeah. It's the vibe. Hey, she probably out of breath. I'm like, I got something to move over here, <laughs> bro. But she got a second chance, bro. You get it that, feel, it feels stronger this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw that was done. Come on, girl. Come on. Into the field. Slow march. Let's talk about it, dance wow. fam. I yo, so dang son, I don't want to come out the gate right with what I feel, but uh, <laughs> um, look, I think that was better than the than 305. Like, yeah. Yo, and that says a lot because that was like a contemporary piece, you know, going up against um, what's 305 like salsa, samba, something yeah, like that. Something in there, in the yeah. Latin world. Latin, yeah, and uh, but she was she was whoa like technicality, technique. Yeah. What? She's nine. She's nine. Like who can do? What nine year old you know has that amount of technique Listen. and that amount of focus? Yeah. To be able to execute in that way. Um. So I love that. Like she, I think she was like, she was so clean like in her moves like yeah. everything was just like tw 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 I was a little nervous that she was just gonna do like tricks yeah the whole time and not actually dance because there's a difference between dance and actually doing tricks yeah and I'm like okay but she, she her movements were so clean I'm like yo son like she's she's very good yeah and the elephant in the room obviously her mic pack fell off right but to start over to have the endurance yeah and the focus to and keep the going. focus to keep on going and to do it over again because a lot of times you, you're out of breath you're giving it your all and now you gotta start over huh yeah. who i felt like she got stronger the second time like she yeah. came back and like yeah. like the first routine was just a warm-up like she yeah. <laughs> like and she slow walked on she's like ah and i love that and okay let's talk about it she told a story yeah um she she, she came to fight like right. she was a soldier she was marching on she was marching to go to battle to go to war with 305 yep. um that facials was, were strong yeah she was focused in that thing because because she was super smiley at the beginning you know i mean then she when she got into it i was like oh i believe her yeah like it was it was really good like tech so let's talk about a choreography i'm gonna give the choreography i'm gonna be tough on this one just a little bit I know she didn't choreograph that. Um, <laughs> Man. <laughs> so, so uh, choreography, I'm gonna give an eight. Um, uh, I, I only because I just I, I wasn't super impressed with it. I was impressed with 
her execution of the choreography. So for that reason, I'll jump straight into execution and I'm gonna give execution a nine, nine and a half, okay. um, because she did freaking amazing and she's yeah. nine. Yeah. I'll keep saying it because yeah. it's so unbelievable. Like she's nine. Um, so I'll give her execution a nine and a half. Creativity, I'm also gonna give eight. Um, I, it's, you know what? I'm gonna bump her, bump her creativity more because she's a solo performance. I'm gonna give our creativity a nine, um, only because when you're a solo act, it's incredibly hard to be creative. There's only so many pictures that you can create. There's only so many acrobatic moves that you can do. Mm. Um, guys, I talk about this on my channel all the time. It's tough to be a solo act on here. Um, yes. And so with that being said, I'm also gonna say that she may win this round, but I don't. I still just don't see her winning the entire show. Um, that's yeah. tough. I mean, I think choreography, I'll give her an eight just because mm -hmm. I would have loved to seen a little bit more variety in the dance section and not just the flips. Mm -hmm. But it was, the way she did it, it was great, right? Um, it, what was the other one? Credit, credit, uh, uh, execution. Execution. I mean, I, I, I have to give her a... I'll give her a 10 on the execution. She mm. had a little, little, little slip up in the, in the first round. Yeah, she did bounce a little bit. But it's kind of like I would have bounced all over that dog on floor if I did like what <laughs> she just did. So let's be honest. Matter of fact, my back would bounce out. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> bounce out of so, my body trying to yeah. do a back thing. So that, and then, uh, uh, what's it? Uh, creativity. I would probably give it a nine. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was creative and I wouldn't give it an eight, but I, I'll give it a nine because. It was creative enough where it kept all of our attention. The mm -hmm. music, her moves matched the music very well. And it took you on a journey somewhere. It was mm -hmm. kind of like, you know, I, I felt it. So I think overall, she did a phenomenal job. Do I think that she can win the whole thing? I think it'd be yeah. very difficult with yeah. just her skill set because unfortunately, no matter how great your moves are, mm -hmm. no matter how wonderful and how perfectly executed, executed they are, yeah. people get used to them very yeah. quickly. We live in a, let me just go on a quick rant here, okay? <laughs> we live in a day in the age where we see everything on the internet. Back in the day, you do something before, like pre, you know, uh, YouTube and all that, then you was like, oh my gosh, that's blown away. Haven't seen that before, or woo woo woo. And you have myths and legends. Yeah. Nowadays, oh, I've seen that before. I just watched that the other oh, day. I on, saw that on TikTok. Right, like, like, yeah, it's like, like, what? Like, <laughs> so you see it all, so it's hard to be impressed when you actually see it on a big stage like this, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and for that same reason. And so guys, I already came out and said who I think my front runner is, and that's Oxygen. And mm. let's just, and I, and I can honestly say if Oxygen keeps performing it the way, the way they did last uh, episode up against uh, what Savannah did, uh -huh. I would hands down pick Oxygen time and time and time again. Mm. Like Oxygen is just sick. And so like, even if she made it to the finals, like I just, my heart would already be with oxygen. Ah. Um, but anyway, uh, let's move into the next one. Let's see this this last routine. Let's go. Let's do it. Mm. <laughs> That was nice. See the difference between the music? Yeah. And that, what that beat they hit? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, with the death drop. Hey! Okay. <laughs> mm, I love that. Nice little groove there. All right, Dance Fan, let's talk about it. Um, Chibi Unity. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling after that. You know, I think I was just expecting to be like flabbergasted, floored. 
Cause they came out so they came strong. out strong. They came out strong. And then the choreography let me down. Mm. So I'm just gonna jump straight into my points. Choreography, I'm gonna give a seven. Um, because it could have been amazing. Ooh. And instead of it being amazing, it kind of fell flat towards the middle yeah. of it. Um, and then it, it didn't pick back up again. Like mm. it started off right here and then it dipped a little bit and mm. then it just plateaued. Yeah. Um, so for that reason, choreography was a seven. Execution, I'm also I'm gonna give an eight because um, I I mean it was probably somebody else's choreography. I don't know who comes up with it, but it just mm -hmm. you know the execution was good. They were clean, they were together. Um, but once again, it was it was a lot of them. I don't know if it was their outfits, but at, at certain points I felt like they were a little bit out of sync with each other. Um, and overall creativity, this is where I'm probably gonna dock the most points. Wow. Um, creativity, I'm going to give. I'm gonna. I'm, oh, I don't want to be so mean, dog. But I'm. I'm gonna give it like a six and a half on creativity. Why you gotta be so? <laughs> but, hey, hey, don't kill me, guys. <laughs> but, like creativity, it just like where was the creativity? Like, I mean, the yeah. choreography was was lined out. They didn't tell a story. Yeah. Um, there was there was like one trick. The trick could have been better. Yeah. Um, Cause I mean, they literally just threw somebody up in the air and That's caught them. Like. We can do that. I mean, <laughs> be honest. We've done it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, other than that, man, it, the creativity it just wasn't very creative. Like yeah. it was, it, they relied heavily on the choreography, and the choreography didn't actually pull through all the different genres of hip hop. It was just kind of like this one dimensional version of hip hop for me because I didn't see. Okay, I did see. Uh, the uh, what is that uh, like the Chicago uh, juke it not juking but like the dun, 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 dun. it's more like New York yeah the New, New York, York. Yeah, yeah that I I did see that but I didn't really see too many other styles incorporated in there it was more so of the uh, what I what I call jazz hop like mm, <laughs> um, oh wow oh wow <laughs> you know being disrespectful talking. right now <laughs> I'm not being disrespectful <laughs> y'all you know what I'm talking about though like the kind of like um, just kind of like Brian Puspo's kind of like. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's it's not so much uh like like the foundational hip hop things sure. which are like breaking, locking, right. uh stuff like that for me. Um I, I but see anyway, you what, what's your points? Here's the thing. Way came out strong. I was like, Super "Oh snap." Strong. Yeah. The, the dance song choice was about Song two. choice always makes a big difference because it gets the the audience into it, gets the judges into it. If they like the song, you're naturally going to bounce with it. Now, if you do that, your expectations got to be their way up because mm -hmm. people expect you to really deliver on that mug because you don't want to ruin a song. Yeah. Thing is, the song choice they picked is uh, Lil Wayne's. Uh, I forget the name of the song. Him and, him and Swiss, right? Yeah. So I don't remember the name of it. It's either. the it's the song where everybody's doing like the the New York like yeah yeah like you gotta you gotta and be they, it because the cast you see. Are like really getting it and, and they kill it. and they killing it, but they couldn't get it to the extent because they ain't from there. I don't think, yeah. and they ain't got that that natural like, uh. So no, they, you, trust me, they not from there. No, they yeah, they, they, I, they, I don't want to assume. You they know what they need a translator. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing no. is that like for real, you have to be, you can incorporate elements of it, which they did, but the energy kept stopping. You, dude, it kept using like that soon that. Like you, you gotta keep that. Set it that. I couldn't agree that. more. For you, real. Got, you gotta keep that energy, and then you can break it down a little bit. And then at the end, it was no words, and they were just kind of like you know riding it out. It's kind of like, well, what, what are we doing here? Kind of a letdown. And then yeah. at the very end, they just like turned and walked. It was like, okay, it's cool. You yeah. want to kill the, all the rest of it, right? So right. choreography, I'll probably give it a seven. Mm. Um, and maybe they just did the best they could do with that style. Yeah. Uh, what was it called? Uh, 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 Creativity or execution? Execution. Uh, an eight of what they choreographed. Yeah. Um, and then if you're looking for creativity, I would give it an, uh, probably a seven because I feel like they could have done a lot better mm -hmm. with yeah. all of that. Facts. Like Even a girl that kind of came up and she was like facing the opponent and she was like, she did some kind of like a pop pop something like that. she could have like popped it down or something like that to yeah. really make it and she, and she, and created, she hit the death drop now granted death drop yes that that did, and they also had some whacking in there yeah um, so I mean creativity I would give it a 7 I feel like it could have been stronger yeah especially given the song 
And uh, but overall, but they they so did their right. thing. You are so right. Like what? the energy kept stopping. Kept stopping. I couldn't like put my finger on it, but right. it it was that. Like, if you look at the cats in, in New York in New York in the in the, uh, the the subway, the train, yeah, and they're like doing the like the pole dance, and they're like coming through, like it's insane, it's insane. And, it's, and, it's, <sighs> and you're just blown away, like you can't even breathe. But exactly. the energy You're just like, kept oh, stopping. Man. That, so. But anyway, let's see what uh MDC3 does. Like I'm 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 excited. This is the trio. Yeah. They're one of my favorites. Yo, so let's let's jump into it. Let's start with left hand. Mm. Ignorance is bliss. That was sick. Let's talk about it, dance fam. Yo, best performance of the night. Bruh. Flat out, flat out. They murdered Ooh. that. Like, yowzers. Just jumping straight into it. Like, story was all the way there. Not, they continued, they picked up where they left off from the last story. So we already knew there was this crazy love triangle going right. on. Can you see entanglement? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> That's perfect. Like crazy entanglement. This, my they should have I hope they named that piece entanglement. Listen. Like, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> but um so they picked up where they left off. Dude just had had beautiful lines. What was that move where he, he just did a, whoosh, almost like you would do a one uh one of it's kicks, like a spread eagle, like a, but like it, dude, he jumped so high and his lines were so clean. Like they are all three. Spread eagles. So, Is that a technical term? <laughs> yes, they are so technically sound. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Their yeah. technique is like perfect and they're all three in sync and then when they break out and they're dancing separately yeah. and they're still together and okay one of the moments that I want to call out is when he lifted the one girl over and dropped her down mm -hmm. the girl behind him also did some kind of move mm -hmm. and landed in the same way that the other girl did when he put her down and I was like what the heck? I don't know guys I don't know <laughs> It was, was amazing. It was it was beautiful. Like you definitely, I felt something. Yeah, I connected with yeah. it. Yeah, they they told a great story. What are your thoughts? It was man? it was fluid. They flowed. It wasn't really stopping and starting. It was like yes. there's always something going on. And even if the person, uh, the single person, was not in uh, uh, the entanglement, it, yeah. Yeah, they was they was they were still doing something and prepping for the next move to make the next picture. And it was like. It was it was a beautiful flow. Yeah. I, I mean, I would be super tired after that one, especially if I was a guy. But the thing that was crazy when dude he did his little kick, <laughs> then he did his little flip, <laughs> toe touch, then he came back up, and then he got in sync with the other dancers, and they came down. And they did like a little, you know, it, they, they, they was like, like yeah, what what do you call that in, in breaking when you do? Uh, they did like a half windmill, yeah, like. half windmill together, and they they were on it, and it was just like wow. And the girl got on his shoulders. Did a little twist, twirled off. I mean, dropped. and then when he dropped, the other girl dropped with her. Like they, they all had the same. Right. When when she fell, right. that was like was crazy. Like she felt so, it, and then the end, end just kind of left dude hanging. It's like whoa. Exactly, but that's where he should have been in the entanglement. He was going back and forth between the two or two women, you know, is, and he was the cause of the entanglement. I mean, from what I gather, you know, you know? <laughs> Jada, Crazy. where you at? But uh, nah, I ain't going to mess with Jada. I'm sorry, Jada. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, so um, breaking down the point system, yo, choreography ten. I'm like, I'm. Uh, it's a comfortable ten for me mm -hmm. because it was it was beautiful. It was beautifully put together. Everything was. Uh, lined up together yeah. there was no stopping of energy like it all flowed it told a story 
perfect. Yes. Um, execution. 10 again comfortably like because they executed it so perfectly together from the moments where they were doing the partner work to the moments where they were just doing the regular choreography separately and they were still in sync there were no hiccups there were no blips like they did they executed it perfectly yeah. like there's no complaints from there creativity i i'm going to give creativity a nine and a half uh, it's not quite a 10 for me um because i it just Something still just didn't get me to that point of a, a full on 10, but nine and a half because it was still fire. Okay. Like, yo, they they did a bunch of lifts. They did a bunch of like choreography. And I think, you know, I think the reason why it, it's a nine and a half is because I wanted to see more of it and I didn't get to see more of mm. a, a longer routine, which is not their fault at all. Um, but song choice was amazing. Um, I didn't, I, I'm unfamiliar with the track and I still connected with it. Um, you just can't be that creative out of nowhere. They did an amazing job uh, with creativity. And it wasn't just like one lift with this person, then one lift with this person. Mm -hmm. It was like lift, 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 yeah, lift, yeah, flow. Yes, like it was yes, crazy. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was everywhere. But yeah. overall, like, yo, I give this, I give this performance a 10 overall, period. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. The choreography was awesome. I mean, to choreograph that, how long does it take to do that Facts, and to perfect yeah. it so nobody gets hurt? That it look, I mean, I'm, I, I would give choreography a ten. Um, what was the next one? Execution. <laughs> Execution. Yeah. Execution. You got to. Personally, I would give what they did a ten. I mean. They executed. I didn't. I couldn't see anything offhand. Yeah. They executed very, no very well, very well. Um, creativity. Only reason I would give it a nine is because, mm. and I know people always nitpicking, and it's, it's like you can't do everything right. I would give the creativity a nine because I would like to see them dance and sync a little, little bit, bit more, more together. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it may just be a couple counts, you know what I'm saying? But maybe everybody's just like doing yeah. so on and so forth. And then you kind of get back into it because sometimes you can have all this going on and it could be just so much now. It felt good. It mm -hmm. felt like you were in it, but at the same time, it could be like a lot. You felt like you was in the entanglement. You yeah, like you, yeah. You felt like you was the fourth person. It felt like I was in a spider web. You know, you get a <laughs> walk in a spider web, you like, you know, you're trying to do one of these. So it's like, that's that's what I felt. But it was a good feeling though. It was a good feeling. So I would give it a nine, but overall, man, y'all was rocking, rocking. Yeah, they did. Best of the that. night for sure. For they, sure. Yo, that's that's our show for tonight. Yeah. Like, yay. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Any closing remarks or anything? Anything you want to plug? Like, you got anything for Man, man, I just, you know, I just, you know, I dabble and dabble. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm glad to be here with you, Jimmy, Dance Fam. Appreciate you holding me down. Uh, it's Neil Hobson. Neil Town. You can always follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, TikTok. Follow him right that. here. Right, <laughs> right here. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so appreciate y'all rocking with me. It was always a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Once again, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you on the next episode, Dance Fam. Yeah. Let's go.